I enjoy reading a lot of manuals and I'm ready already on my 800th chapter of one of my favorite series. I like to read mangas and manuals with a lot of action, romance, and school life, and comedy. The manga is great. The fact that it's a multi-dimensional comedy, slackerish, moving, and innovative manga and manga at the same time is a big plus. So everyone who loves manga knows that there are a lot of good and some bad ones. Personally for me, I read a lot of them and slowly finding some of the good ones. But this are some of the 10 favorite mangas for this season that I enjoy. Number 10, the S classes that I raised. In one word, marvelous. It will be going to be a great manga in the future because the way the story unfolds is remarkable. An F rank hunter, that too a useless pathetic F rank, Jung who dragged down his amazing S rank brother, to me who would half heartedly live a disastrous life that ended up devouring my brother's life and making me regret. The title given was Perfect Caregiver. That's right, this time instead of fussing about myself, let's quietly look it after those amazing bastards, was what I thought. But the S ranks are a little weird. Number 9. Is this hero for real? There has never been a hero like this before. Is he a hero or an actual demon? Kang Hansu was summoned to this world with his classmates. His classmates were amazed by his brand new world and the magic in it. But the only thing Hansu wanted to do was quickly return home. Why would I give up my warm, comfortable house to have an adventure in this world? Even the goddess that summoned me said that if I wasn't willing to, there was nothing she could do for me, and promised to return me to my original world. She did teleport me, but when I opened my eyes, I was still in this world. All my friends were gone, and the only thing around me was monsters. Number 8. Duke Pendragon Classic but cool. Reddit, the art is gorgeous, Ravenwald, the second son of a lowly nobleman, had been branded as a traitor with the promise of a pardon. He was sent to fight monsters with the worst unit in the world, the Rakshaha, or Rakshaha, or should I say the Rakshasa. Yes, those corpse. Ravens arrived 10 years at a place where mostly only lasted one. Yeah, that's what happened. But one day, before his pardon, he was on his final mission on the battlefield alongside Aaron Pendragon, heir to the Pendragon Duchy. And everything crumbled before his eyes. The fight scenes are very good, and I like the world building in this one. Number 7. Heavenly Martial God This is a solid martial arts manga. I am the matchless Ha Hu Young, the greatest martial artist reigning over all the lands. There is no one that is my equal. I was drowning in futility and emptiness because there was no more than I could accomplish in the human realm. To reach the peak of martial arts, I must become a saint. I finally succeeded. Stop your ascension, it's not permitted. The other saints refused my ascension due to my karma after much slaughter, and I fell just like that. When I woke up, I was 60 years in the future and I was reborn as the second lord of the Nam Gung family. Nam Gung Hyuk. Where has all the internal energy that I've accumulated gone? Number 6. The Return of the Crazy Demon So far, this manga is fantastic. The story starts off a bit chaotic, but in a good kind of way. The mad demon, Chaha Li, dreams of becoming the god of martial arts. Unfortunately, his dreams are dashed after he falls off a cliff while running from the demonic cult for stealing the Jade of Heaven. Yet this is not the, the end for Chaha. He awakens from the fall to find himself back in his 20s with his knowledge of the future and martial arts. He now has a chance at revenge and at getting life right this time. Number 5. Reincarnation of the Suicidal Battle God So far, this has potential to be my favorite manga. The lore and the history, how they build the world around is very cool and interesting. Sapphire is the last human fighting evil in a world abandoned by the gods. When he is killed in battle by Tartarus, the god of destruction, all hope for humanity seems lost. But Sapphire's fate is not sealed. The gods who find his battles entertaining have gifted him a second chance at life as he is sent 10 years into the past, back to when he was a slave instead of the most powerful human alive.
Number four, leveling with the gods. VMC is an absolute badass, and the action scenes are all very extremely thrilling. Maybe inner gods can never defeat outer gods, so thought you won Kim, a plucky high-ranking warrior, after a bitter defeat. But you won is too tenacious to give up. His loss becomes the dawn of a new journey as a returnee. With renewed determination, Yu Wan starts back from where he began, smashing monster after monster and relearning his skills before taking on the tower once again. Number 3 Return of the Disaster Class Hero The art quality is the same as solo leveling, and the plot is kinda original, the hype is there, but definitely a god class manga. If you like solo leveling, I recommend reading this there once the strongest hero on earth. But he died though. How is a guy we killed gonna come back? I know, right? But if there was a way to come back, he would come back. But did he really come back after 20 years? What was, you know, what were you so surprised about? That's like the main question. Why did you do something to feel guilty about, you bastards? I won't let you get away with it. The characters and the art and the story somewhat give me solo leveling vibes, but has has a solo leveling ending as well. Kinda. Number two, Nano Machine. Ah, uh, Nano Machine. Oh man, episode 94 just hit really hard after being held in disdain and having his life put in danger. An orphan from the demonic cult, Chun Yu Won, has an unexpected visit from his descendant from the future who inserts a nano machine into Chun Yu Wu's body. Which of course drastically changes John Woon's life after its activation. The story of John Yu Woon's journey of bypassing the demonic cult and rising to become the best martial artist has just begun. First of all, this manga is splendid and the art is almost perfect. Moreover, I've read a lot of cultivation manga and it is one of the best I've ever read. Number 1. Mercenary Enrollment no doubt here, this is probably my favorite manga. I mean, at the age of 8, Ijin Yu lost his parents in a plane crash and became stranded in a foreign land. Forced to become a child mercenary in order to stay alive, he returns home 10 years later to be reunited with his family in Korea where food and shelter are plenty and everything seems peaceful. But Lee Jin will soon learn that life as a teenager is a whole other feat of survival. With only one year of high school left, Ijin must master new tactics to maneuver his way around schoolhouse battleground. Can he survive a year of high school though? Or rather, will the school be able to survive him? The art was nice, but like, the protagonist was too OP, especially considering the starting scenes it went from taking down military personnel to taking down high schoolers. We hope you found the video very nice and we hope you find what you're looking for and what is your favorite or preferred webtoon. Comment down below. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our videos for more top 10. My name is Zira Khan and I'm the voice of the voiceless.